Alright, in this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on trigonometric ratios of compound angles. Alright, here we've got a question which says evaluate sine of 7 pi by 12 times cos of pi by 4 minus cos of 7 pi by 12 times sine of pi by 4. Well, it's a pretty easy one to solve otherwise also. But the compound angles is even more easier. What you can notice here is you can see that here it is sine A and the same angle is here cos A. And then if this is cos B, this is going to be sine B. And it's minus. What formula is this? This is nothing but sine of A minus B. Right? So all we have to do is just substitute. So sine of A is 7 pi by 12 minus B is pi by 4. So you solve this, take LCM and all. You get finally sine of pi by 3. Okay, let me solve quickly here. The LCM of 4 and 12 is definitely 12. 4 times 3, the LCM is 12. So, divided by 12 into 1 gives you 12. So, 7 pi into 3 gives you 12. So, minus 3 pi. So, 7 pi minus 3 pi is 4 pi. Divided by 12 is pi by 3. So, here it is sine pi by 3. So, sine pi by 3 is what? Sine 180 by 3. That is nothing but sine 60 degrees which is root 3 by 2. So simple, right? Such a lengthy one, the answer is root 3 by 2. That's all. You just have to use the compound formula. Let's quickly solve another one. So we've got here cos 2 pi by 3a and sine a. Same angles. You consider this cos b, then this is sine b. What formula is this? This is cos of a plus b. All you have to do is just substitute. So cos of 2 pi by 3 plus b is pi by 4. So solving which you get cos of 11 pi by 12. Right, so cos of 11 pi by 12 is 11 times 180 divided by 12, which is cos of 165 degrees. Now quickly use the other concepts. So cos of 165 can be written as 180 degrees minus 15 degrees, right? So 165 lies in which quadrant? It lies in the second quadrant. Second quadrant cos is negative. So it's going to be minus cos. Since it's 180, it's not going to change. So it's going to be minus cos 15 degrees. So cos 15 is what? Root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2. If it is minus cos 15, it's going to be minus of 2, 3 plus 1 divided by 2, 2. So that is what this answer is equal to. So this is equal to minus of root 3 plus 1 divided by 2, root 2. So that ends these problems as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on trigonometric ratios of compound angles.